Hi everyone, it's me, I'm Zintuki Sig here. We finally back with another tutorial. So today what I'm gonna be teaching you is how to make a 3D Cyberpunk CD in Adobe After Effects. This is gonna be a tutorial that I'm gonna be talking about the tracker panels, which I'm not really touched way too much. I, I have been making a lot of different tutorial, you know, but it's kind of rare to see me talking about tracking stuff. And tracking is one of the most powerful future in Adobe After Effects. So today I decided to make a videos. We're going to go in depth talking about that as well as some of the other ways to making your Cyberpunk CD looking better. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a clip that is what the pre-recorded clips which you guys can find the download link right down in the descriptions and yeah that's basically all now let's get right into the tutorial so here on the clip right now as you can see that we have a little bit you know uh we're gonna set the in boy and the out boy first because this one is not moving there so i'm gonna try from this one right over there until the part that you wanted to make it and i'm just gonna set it around maybe this yeah, just a few seconds like this and we're gonna be drop this one down You need to make sure that you need to drop that down so that the composition setting gonna be the same frame rate as we're at the side at the original clips So when you've done that what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be go ahead and tracking the clips and then we're gonna be you know like Learning how to remove these noises and stuff So we're gonna go into tracker and click on track camera now we're gonna be great. So if you don't know how to open the tracker, you can, can go to Windows and you can find the tracker tab right over there. Now I'm just gonna see there and wait. So when it's done, it's gonna say serving camera. So we are just gonna see there and wait for a bit. So, so when it's done, it's gonna be showing up something like this. This is no different yet. But when we click on the camera tracker, it's make a ton of different boy and a little circle to for you to track in the clips so now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be click on the clip we're gonna draw a little rectangle around the area that you want to do tracking when you've done that right click create a new in camera and you can do the same thing with the opposite side as well we're just gonna move the mouse like this yeah, we're gonna do something like this and right click create another Louis. So now we have a different two Louis that plays um it's have the position property so that when you copy the position property of this Louis layer and copy to the object that you wanted to tracking, it's gonna be following that. So yeah, that basically what it's about. So now the next thing we're gonna do is I wanted to be talking a little bit about the quality of the videos because some of the videos when you download it's gonna have some noise like this and so we're just gonna create a new adjustment here here is a little fix we're gonna add a effect in Adobe After Effects named remove grains when you done that as you can see here the resource is gonna have a viewing mode like this so I'm just gonna show you what actually is changed as you can see it's like this right turn it this one up up it's gone and as you can see the detail right under here this one is on and off it's still the same now what we're gonna do is click on preview and click on file low output and you can see everything is much smoother right now here is before and after everything is much smoother for me so that's basically how i remove the grain on some of my edit that's a little tips for you guys but yeah now i'm just gonna be temporarily turn this one off so now here i got two different clips that i'm gonna using today it's just some roto press clip that i'm using a thousand years ago on my 10k edit but you can use that as well or you can use an image as well so for example maybe i'm just gonna import an image so that you know the preview gonna be faster so yeah let me looking at the image i'm trying to find an image honestly kind of hard to all right so i want to do this i guess so now when you choose the night when you import the object that you wanted to be tracking on you're gonna be drop this one down and the last thing that we're gonna do here is you can see that 
is not a long rectangle but i wanted to be cut it a little bit so we're just gonna right click pre-compose into the second option hit ok double click on that and hit s on the keyboard to sewing this property up click k to setting this one now we're gonna be setting this side down to about 400 i guess yeah it's gonna be a brown like this and actually you guys can lock the aspect ratio you're gonna be double the amount into something like this and hit ok so now we're gonna be fit up to 100s and we're gonna be go ahead and scale up the clips so when you've done this what we're gonna go is we're gonna go back to the main composition as you can see that right now it's turned into a long rectangle this is what we want as you can see and yeah you can change some property as well i think this one is like way too high i'm just gonna set this one at one yeah around this side i guess uh, yeah like this and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be turn on the 3d icon over there and now when we turn on 3d here is what happened tracking to the camera but now you need to move that to the right position so to do that you're gonna click on the louis and when it's sewing up something like this you're gonna be click p on the track louis click on the position property can turn c and then can turn v and it's gonna be stick into that position now on the clip we're gonna hit shape add zip r and zip b to actually sew all the property as you can see it's gonna be like this and we're just gonna be go ahead scale this one up try to you know like rotate the clip and stuff to actually making this one looking much better yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and make a little symbol tracking stuff for you guys because you guys already know that this kind of thing is like kind of hard to actually do so it's just gonna be a symbol you know like tutorial so I'm just gonna try my best to actually track the thing. Yeah, around this. And around this. We're just gonna do like this. I don't wanna do with you guys time. I'm just gonna go ahead and something like this. And you can see now it's tracking to the clips. So now what we're gonna do next is you guys can do the same thing with the other side right over there. But now I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the Leon color. So with the Leon color, you're going to be pre compose this one again, but you're going to click on the second option so that it's going to be leave all the property on this one. And now, go into this composition. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add valet and plight. Now, what we're going to do is set this one to 15. It's going to have a little light like this. Now, how, you know, the LED light is going to have something like that. And change the direction to light T. The side, I'm probably gonna set it at maybe light. The feather, you guys can change this if you want to, but it's gonna be very bad if I do that. And the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of the, you know, nah, whatever you want. You can custom the color doing whatever you want, but here I'm just gonna be back to the main composition. Here I'm gonna add deep glow. We add deep glow into this, and we're just gonna change the side over there and click on required for text and you can see it's gonna be glowing like this so what i'm gonna do is wow what's actually happened oh god girl i um, just don't know what it happened <laughs> yeah maybe maybe uh try to figure out what actually happened to this one so for this one actually i, I, I can do that inside here but i wanted to have the glow you know if i go around it so maybe I'm just gonna go ahead over there. I'm gonna add some flicker into this. So yeah, as flicker, we must have that because you know, want to make it a little bit of flickering like this. So yeah, here is basically what happened. It's flickering. And when you back to the main composition, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add another adjustment layer. I'm gonna set this one as CC and then we're gonna add deep glow. So this one is just a quick tutorial on how to get a uh, nice quality videos and stuff it's kind of easy though so i don't want to you know go way too deep about this but yeah maybe tomorrow i'm gonna make another tutorial about tracking or maybe about side effects so if you guys have any idea please comment down below and now that's pretty all about the tutorial today it's very simple it's not gonna take you way too much time but yeah i think this one gonna be maybe helpful for you and if you wanted to be a little more advanced thing you can check the project file link in the description as well and now see ya